So, in this video, we're going to talk about volume. Volume questions will often ask you to compute the volume of a given solid using one of several equations found at the beginning of each section. But remember, if you don't, if you don't remember the equations for a volume, look back because most all the volume equations you'll see will be there. The approach. Hard questions will often ask you to determine how many small volumes can place into a large volume. On these questions, make sure you watch out for your units, as you can only divide the same unit by the same unit. Feet divided by feet, or meters divided by meters. You can't divide meters by centimeters if you're trying to figure out a question involving large volume into small volume. So let's go through some of the volume equations. The rectangular solid equation is volume is equal to length times width times height. Another helpful equation you can use when dealing with a rectangular solid is the diagonal equation. This is the distance from one vertex to the far vertex on the other side. And to do this, we would do the square root of the length squared plus the width squared plus the height squared. This is essentially a three-dimensional distance formula. Not something you have to know, but it could save you a little time if they ask you to compute the distance across a rectangular solid. For a cube, the volume is equal to edge times edge times edge, which is edge cubed. And again, if you want to know the distance of the diagonal across a cube, it's the square root of edge squared plus edge squared plus edge squared, which is the square root of 3 edge cubed. For a cylinder, we're essentially extruding a circle. So we want to know the volume of a cylinder would be the area of a circle times the height of the cylinder, which will be pi r squared times the height. So it's essentially area of the base times the height. This is the same equation for any extruded shape, meaning that if you take a shape and just pull it vertically to form the volume or form the three-dimensional shape, it's always going to be the area of the base times the height. Small volume and the big volume questions will ask you to compute how many small units will fit into a larger unit. The key to these questions is making sure you have the same units for the large volume and the small volume before computing the final answer. Once you have the units converted into the same, then you can divide the large volume by the small volume. So let's look at a practice question. How many 12 by 12 by 12 inch cubes would it take to fill up a 10 by 10 by 10 foot cube? So the first thing we're going to do is can calculate the large volume. 10 by 10 by 10 is 1,000 cubic feet, pretty large cube. Now we need to convert the small cube into feet because it's currently in inches. So we're going to take the 12 by 12 by 12 and convert that to 12 over 12 by 12 over 12 by 12 over 12, essentially dividing each distance by 12 to convert inches into feet. That will yield a smaller, uh, smaller volume of one cubic foot. And lastly, we divide the large volume, 1,000 cubic feet, by the small volume, one cubic feet, to yield an answer of 1,000 cubes. It would take 1,000 of these small cubes to fill up the larger cube. So hopefully I helped you out with volume, and hope to see you soon.